Good afternoon. It's Friday, July 26, 2019, and this is the Below Boards Edgers Strategy Table. So, uh, just to start out with a little bit of a chuckle, um, I hear um, so, such kind things when when you uh, advocates and defenders and and perhaps. Uh, Edgers are starting to think nice things about me too. Um, when, you, when you're not fiercely defending my honor, I hear you saying stuff like, she's so soothing to watch, she's so graceful, <laughs> and um, thank you very much for that, um, I appreciate it. Um, I've had other people uh, through, throughout these uh, years when I've taken on the, the coaching mantle um, tell me that I have really good energy. And um, most recently, um, and gratifyingly, my therapist, and also one of my closest friends, who's actually a, a well-respected female minister in Eugene, uh, comment that regardless of the terrible stuff happening to me, uh, I seem remarkably calm and, and that I had really good energy. So um, that's something I feel really proud of because it wasn't always so. I had to really work on myself. Um, I used to be very awkward as a child and, uh, and not very graceful. And, and then I also used to be very uh, insecure and depressed and uh, from my teenage years starting at about 13 through, uh, boy, all the way up to mid-30s. I, I was a very angry person. I had a lot of unresolved stuff about my family. And uh, so, uh, if I can work on myself, so can all of you. And um, no matter what challenges uh, you face, there's always ways that you can uh, work on yourself and develop yourself um, and, and your life um, towards uh, a better, more empowered situation. And uh, it, are we not living proof, team? <laughs> um, so consider your, your minds like a plant. Um, and you, you all have been really um, in a toxic situation down there, having to uh, be in the presence of, of so much anger and, and rage and abuse. Um, that's uh, probably traumatized you a bit. And so um, you might want to just start making some lists, is what I recommend. And. What I mean by lists, um, first of all, uh, assess your situation. Make a, you know, and actually get a pen and paper, or, you know, if you have a computer access or whatever, and actually physically write it down. Um, what are the pros and cons of your situation? You know, for instance, um, you know, the cons for, for a lot of you is that you can't get above ground, at least for now. Um, but you have a safe roof over your head. You know, just at the top of the paper, write pro and con, and just go down the list. Um, you get to spy on everybody. <laughs> you know, it's going on everywhere. <laughs> and then you've got these bullies that um, are, you know, they're not, they're not treating you right, but at, at least they're protecting you from, you know, having stuff like this done to me, <laughs> done to you. Um, so just uh, write down the list about your situation and then, um, and then make a list of uh, what you feel are your, your strongest traits of, and what are your weakest, or, or, or I would say strong traits and traits that I need to work on. And, uh, you know, uh, be a better dancer. <laughs> Um, I shouldn't be so short-tempered, <laughs> you know, in the, the need to work on areas. Um, I've been really brave, braver than I ever thought I would recently. Um, I'm really good at uh, articulating my thoughts and feelings in the positive column. Okay, so um, I'll, I'll just uh, make this a, a briefer one today. And, um, and this will actually tr train your mind. Um, it, all these studies are coming out that there's actually a lot more going on in our unconscious mind than our conscious mind. So how nutty is that? And so you have to kind of um, play, play a little bit of a 
sleight of hand with the subconscious mind because it doesn't uh, bring in information the same way that your conscious mind does. And so uh, the way you can kind of uh, get your, your unconscious mind working for you more is to constantly repeat uh, good stuff about yourself. You know, when, once you have the negative stuff, um, just say, um, I, I forgive myself for not being as, as uh, positive and strong as I, was, I would like to be, and now I'm going to spend every day working on um, being a, a stronger, better person. And, um, and just keep the, those pot, because you're in such a negative environment, so just keep on... Um, every time you, you have a thought and you're angry or you're disappointed in yourself, um, immediately forgive yourself and say, hey, but, you know, I'm a pretty good person this way, okay? And, um, and you'll be surprised because uh, um, as you get better at this, all of a sudden you realize, man, I'm having negative um, uh, condescending thoughts about myself all the time <laughs> and I wasn't really aware of it. Okay, and and help your friends too. You know, if, if you hear them saying negative stuff about themselves, just say stop that. You're a better person than that, and so you can help each other too. And um, I hope you have access to. Uh, let me know. You know, if, if you don't, say, gosh, I wish I could get on teleseminars, but I don't have computer access. Let me hear that, so I don't keep talking about it if you're not able to access it. But if you are, um, definitely start hopping on. Um, these coaching teleseminars because uh, you know you'll get all sorts of good little um, tricks and, and bits of information okay so I'll let it go at that for now and um, more power to you bye bye